Oh shoot, Sam sight. Oh Sam sight, go. Pull pull up and left on the stick. Where the hell did that come Flare from? your rear rotor to the right. It's right on us. Oh gosh. <laughs> it would be like one second that it would go from launching to actually hitting. <laughs> Oh, they parachuted. Okay. Leave the pilot to die. Don't worry about anything. All right. Well, this is, yeah, this is the Fallen Ghost DLC. Um, I have not played this yet and not known anything about this. So I just kind of was curious. Wanted to show you guys it. That's a really pretty looking image. Um, some people were requesting the Narco Road DLC for me to play that, but it got really, really bad reviews, like terrible reviews. And this one looks a little bit more like spec ops and realistic. So I was Did more interested in this one. Down? Just us. Oh, what? <laughs> Some welcome. It's pretty Stacom interesting beginning. And they knocked down the helo with a heat seeker. Pretty high tech stuff for some jungle backwater. So, what's our play? As long as one of us is alive, the mission is still a go. AKA, you guys don't matter, I matter. <laughs> if all of you die, it's all right. I'm perfectly fine with that. Mission will still be a go. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope this is good. I'm interested to see if this is good. You are now online, oh, okay. Uh, amidst the chaos of El Sueño, lost, survived in Bolivia, they're skilled so they're, they're just really bad guys. They're really bad guys. Do I have a HUD? Okay, there we go. Investigate the crash site. So, uh, the DLCs, how they work is that they're already in the main map. They aren't, they don't like bring you to a separate location. Whoa, where? They don't bring you to a separate location. Is my drone jammed? No, it's not, okay. Oh shoot, so there's bad guys down there right now. And I don't think it marks them. I wanna put a suppressor on this SR25 first. Okay. Cool. Is that clear now? I think that's clear. I guess they don't give you the DLCs just because or not the DLCs, the, the things that you, you would usually equip. Um, just because of the fact that it'd be really easy to play this. If you had like thermal camera, like thermal cameras or very, very high end skill set things. Like the better grenades and such. So I, I guess I understand why they have you make a new character, but I just, I wonder why they don't just limit you. Okay, investigate the crash site. What are we investigating? About the crash site. Oh, search the crash site for a radio. Okay. I think there's a radio. I guess it will probably have like an audible sound. Something is really sparking down here. Yeah, but there's just still hostiles walking around. Oh, yeah, there's the radio. It's the thing that's sparking. Who'd have guessed? Who'd have guessed it? Communicate with Bowman. Oh, I think I have my, uh, I think I have my voice audio all the way down, actually. Yeah, we'll put this up to... Here. I repeat, this is Socrates calling in asset in country. I need help. Most of the are coming after me. I, oh shit, they're here! That guy sounds like he's in a world of hurt. We gotta go after him. Okay, the CIA corner. Okay. I said cor what did I just say? Corner? Cor coordinator? Whoa. My English. It just went to poop. 
let's check out these two guys really quick. I don't know where they went. They were just around this corner, right? No? Never mind. I don't know where they went. Oh, there's Jeeps here. I think this is actually a new vehicle. This 4x4. Yeah, this is definitely a new vehicle. Sorry, bro. One thing about Ghost Recon Wildlands, the landscape is really nice looking. Graphics are actually pretty impressive. Oh my gosh! I just drove right past the Unidad soldier. I just drove right past them. It didn't do anything. Oh, the driving mechanics. I miss... I don't know if I miss this or not. Getting the guy out alive is our first priority. Yeah, but I usually have the voices down because the soldiers will usually say, like, really just loud things during a mission. Or they'll start a full-on conversation when you're trying to, like, do a cooperative game with friends. And you can't listen to two different conversations at once, so usually I have my voice audio all the way down. But then whenever it comes to, like, an important moment, I have to turn it back up to listen to what's happening, to really understand what's going on. It's only 250 meters away. I'm still going to want to get some higher ground here, though. I don't know what's going to happen here. It doesn't really look like it's on an actual, like, objective area, so I'm, I'm surprised to see if it's, if it's an objective or not, or if it's just, like, a small little building area. I think it's just a small building area. Oh, God, what? From where? What? Where was he? <laughs> Where was he the entire time? What? What just happened? Where was the guy? Where was the original guy that we just saw? Am I going to get sniped again? Covert ops are deadly soldiers equipped with optical camouflage device. Oh. Oh, crap. So these guys have, like, augmented camouflage. That's actually kind of crazy. That's pretty difficult. So, from the basic soldier to jammers and snipers. So, I guess this guy's a jammer because he's got the little antenna on the back. And that guy's like a tank. This guy's just standard. That guy's a sniper. This guy's like a stealth sniper. Gilly, like a, the, the camouflage, the augmented camouflage sniper. Uh, where reinforced armor can only be shot in the head. What? So you can only kill them by shooting them in the head? This is, okay, this is interesting. I give them that. This is kind of interesting. And oh my gosh. This is, this is going to be difficult. We're just going to have to move in. Oh, he's right there. Oh, man. What's the bet they took him to their base for some enhanced interrogation? This is not good. Where is he? We're clear over here. God, these fuckers are sloppy. Okay, I'm hearing them over. Yeah, that's what I that's what I thought when I looked at the map, and I was like, "There's a gigantic f like FOB here. Why aren't they just taking him over there?" But that's where he is. All right, I'm hearing voices from here. I'm just gonna go up on foot. My backpack is orange, very very orange. Looks like I just looks like I laid it in some spaghetti. Some sp spaghetti sauce just covered all over my backpack. This could get bloody. It's to conceal myself. So that all they think I am is just an Italian dish, but I'm secretly a special ops soldier. Alright, let's see. This M4A1 only has 20 rounds. It's, it's, it's a short magazine. It starts you off with the crap magazines. This is going to be tough, especially playing on solo. Because if there's invisible people, that's that's just tough. That's really tough. Let's see if we don't get jammed. Oh, no, we won't get jammed. Cool. I think the advanced difficulty now doesn't give you the little purple marks, too, which is pretty cool. Like, see how I can mark that guy, but he doesn't appear on map or appear with a gigantic, like, purple mark anymore. Okay, so these aren't the super soldiers anymore. Oh, what the? From where? What? Is there an invisible guy over here? He makes 
spot. No, there's just one right there. And he's just chilling for some reason outside the gate. Okay, I'll just hit him first. Okay, yeah, he's right there. There we go, he's dead. Oh! They heard the suppressed. Alright. No problemo. Let's see if they rush over to me. Uh oh. Oh, he was like right there. That's why. No, no, no. I did not mean to... <laughs> Oh, that was interesting. That used to not be in the game. You used to just, like, hit people with your gun or something. So there have been some changes, actually. But I don't know what, what a knife does different than a buttstock, so. I think it's probably just the same thing. I don't think it has any actual in-game statistical difference to knifing or hitting someone with a buttstock of a gun. Oh, my gosh. Buddy, you need to open your eyes a little bit more. You could have so seen me right then. Do I? Oh, I have thermal vision. Wait. So it gives us thermal vision? Yet it takes away our entire skill tree? What? This is more and more confusing as we go. Okay, so we can use, like, I think only a certain... Oh, that's kind of interesting. There's, like, new weapons and stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, Let's see. So we've got, a, we've got a good array of weapons that we can use. So I guess... Uh, well, the TAR-21 is definitely better than the M4. I kind of wish I could just get the parts, though. Oh! What? Wait, what is this? Why did, it, why did it have us start a new character if we have, I think, the same stuff? Or mostly the same stuff? This is kind of... This is weird. I don't, I don't really know. This is weird. Uh, yeah, we got, like, four grips and stuff, too. Like, what? Uh, let's go... Rangefinder. Barrel. Oh, we don't have the long barrel. And, yeah, we've got compensators and stuff. Like, I I'm just surprised that it made us start a new character, even though... Do we have the same skill tree? What? Then what was the reason that we had to make a new character? <laughs> oh. Explosive bolt for the crossbow. The flash drone. Oxygen. Oh, so you can stay underwater. That's pretty cool. Um, and Drone Vengeance. The drone will automatically trigger an explosive charge among, upon destruction. Okay. Bloodlust killing enemy CQC gives you ammo and health bonus. Interesting. Small caliber bullets. You can shoot bullets out of the drone now. <laughs> Reaction training. Tags the enemy shooting a ghost. That's pretty cool. That's very useful because 90% of the time you're getting shot by someone you didn't tag. Gives complete damage immunity to bullets for a few seconds when close to death. That's OP. Pretty cool, though. So. What, sorry, I just heard the part of the soundtrack. Wait one second. I'm going to listen to the soundtrack. Sorry, this is like a first, first impressions video. So it's more like me just raw experiencing this DLC. It sounded like the Future Soldier soundtrack for a second. And that's why I got interested, but now I don't think it's doing it. It it had the same kind of instrument, like the same the same tone um, that the Ghost Recon Future Soldier game did for a second there. So my Future Soldier fanboy self got kind of excited. Huh, okay. We're still hunted. We're not found, though. Oh! I don't know why they turned on the alarm now. <laughs> if if they want to fight, that's fine. I don't think it'll be that difficult. Like if they send in reinforcements, we can just we can take them out pretty easily. I think. Where was that guy? They're all coming on this side, even though the alarm's over there. Oh, sorry. Totally, you were totally dressed up like a uni dad guy, so I got a little bit spooked there. Okay, there I think is a weapon case in one of these. I don't know what supplies will do, because I don't really have many skills to fill in in this DLC. I found him. Over here. <laughs> Grenade, boom, boom. 
Like, I had no idea what was going on. Okay, that's a heavy. Those are the ones that you have to shoot in the head. Apparently, you have to shoot them in the head. I don't know if body shots do any damage to them, but I don't think it would. There are god rays right here that are opposite of what they should be. They're going up into the sky. You see this? Look at this. I don't know if the... U oh, whoa, yeah. Okay, you guys can definitely see that. I don't know what's going on with, with that. That's really interesting. Oh, I see. Okay, the god rays are going down to the heli from the building. I thought they were coming up from the heli. So I was getting really confused. But no, those are correct then. Yeah, those are correct. Oh my gosh, man. Those guys are going to be so tough to fight. I'm going to have to go around. There we go. Hit him in the head. Fucking hell. That guy dropped a grenade. I don't know if that's part of his class or something. But that's interesting. Okay, it is super foggy. Look at those god rays. What the heck? <laughs> it's like there's not even fog. It's only in the sun. Oh, crap. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, nade! Oh, there goes the heli. There goes another nade that flew way over us. Oh man, we're so dead. We're so dead. There's a Unidad patrol alert now. I'm just gonna push across and try to get to the guy down here. Oh my gosh, nope, I'm gonna die. Yep, I knew I would get downed. I knew it. Hopefully the team didn't get to me pretty quick. Oh, they teleported to me. They just teleported straight up to me. That's a grenade. I'm gonna hide. I forgot. How do you order the team? Oh gosh. <laughs> da! <Duh. laughs> How do you order the team to do things? Is it tab? Okay, it's tab. Move there. Yeah, I want you guys to at least move with me so you can be bullet sponges for me while I go and do work. I don't know where that guy was that just apparently saw me. Oh, is that him? No, that's a friendly. I think they're up above on the cliff. Oh, the fog's gone. Godray fog is gone. Target's marked. Just say the word. Oh, that's a... Oh, my gosh. The frame rate is considerably lower than usual. And whenever I zoom in especially, I feel as if my mouse is delayed. What are you gonna do, kill your hostage? And this guy I think is talking. Is he talking? Wait, wait a sec. Oh, it looked like he was talking. You all right, man? Can you walk? Hell yes. Glad to see you. They were gonna kill me for sure. All right, um. I guess we can just take the heli. As long as we're safe. Yeah, they got like new camouflages for those jeeps too. Let's just all hop in. Let's just all go in the heli. Come on, buddy. Hop in. Hop in, buddy. All we need is him. The rest of our squad will teleport in. So we're good to go. Awesome. Oh man, we're already smoking a little bit. Go helicopter fly physics, go. Okay, this is a safe house, so this shouldn't have enemies at it. But I'm not sure. This is a DLC all about like running from the bad guys, so I don't really know. Okay. We are here. 
Yeah, man, the frames. I don't know what's up with the frames. I might need to lower settings now, but on a 1080, it's weird that I need to lower settings. Okay, here's a cinematic. I think. Yeah, should be a cinematic. Take it easy, man. You're safe. I didn't think I was gonna make it out of there alive. <sighs> Hand to God. I, I thank you. You saved my life. It's what we do. Sit tight. We'll find a way to extract you. No, no. Oh. <sighs> I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> Look, I may not be an operator like you guys, but I'm dialed in down here. I want to help. The other members of the CIA prep team, they're friends of mine, and I want to find out what happened to them. Just let me do something. Well, <laughs> just solar flare for a quarter second. Plenty. They're taking over where the Santa Blanca cartel left off. They installed three key officers, each one controlling a different region. Before it all went to shit, I was tracking possible intel locations. Look, if you and your guys can track down enough info on these pricks, then I can use my local contacts to pinpoint target opportunities, and that'll lead to the officers themselves. So we take them out. Get proof of what Los Extranjeros are doing. Then blow the lid off this whole damn mess. And find the prep team. If they're still alive. I gotta admit, in these cinematics, start updating your they actually have pretty smooth looking animations. And like even their mouths work pretty right. well. You're in. Get to work. Like at least they have good facial expression. Like playing Mass Effect Andromeda for a little bit and then playing this, I can definitely see a, a difference there. Okay, um... Okay, so basically what the DLC does is work with the same area and just gives you new new bad guys. It gives you a new set of bad guys with with new enemies. I like the new enemies idea. I don't think Narco Road had any like creative ideas whatsoever. But this actually I see why if you were into Ghost Recon Wildlands already, that you might want this. Um, yeah, let's go do just a story mission. What was the closest story mission? There's one over there. Okay. Is there a heli? Yeah, there's a heli back here. I'm going to take the heli. Oh, it's our heli that we used. It's so hidden. <laughs> no, not passenger. No, no, no. I want to go in the driver's seat. There you go. Totally safe takeoff. Okay. But yeah, that's kind of spooky, especially with the invisible guys. Like, you kind of have to use your thermal vision a lot now. Which... Honestly, isn't that aesthetically pleasing compared to just looking around with naked eye? But I guess I'll have to just use it now because there's invisible guys everywhere. Oh my god. I was dodging a compound right then. The flight model is so weird. You have to kind of just work with it. There's no way to fight it. Oh gosh, is that a SAM site? That's gonna be a SAM site, isn't it? Oh no. What? Why do they have SAM sites? Oh gosh. <laughs> Good timing. Do we have another another missile approaching? Okay, now the missile approaching thing's gone. Okay, gather intel on the extra narrows operations in the province. Okay. See, I'm getting getting a little bit better frames now. Almost makes it hard to believe we're in the middle of a war zone. Oh, nope, nope. I'm invisible. I'm gonna get made. I can't even see where they are. 
Where was that guy? I like the music. Look at these two guys. They're jamming out. Look at them. You go, man. I like how they're doing it. They're not, they're not presenting to these people. This guy is selling... What are you selling? I think he's selling some beef soup and water. And oh, oh, wow, rude. <laughs> wow. All right, bro. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he pushed the chair over and this guy just just got so offended. He's not even looking at blue shirt anymore. And they're still just part Oh. S Master of stealth. Guys, let's go this way. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> He's literally doing like marks, like hand signals, while I'm just droning random guys that are playing instruments. Okay, where was the where was the hostile that saw me? Was it that little crow up there? It's the three buttons for pistol, there. right? Watch your step. Anyone in the position of power here is there because they're most likely in the pocket of the merc. Okay. Ooh, okay, he's coming around to my back. Nobody saw anything. Hopefully enemies didn't see that. I don't, uh, they're suspected, but that really doesn't mean much. Where do I see rebels? Oh, are those rebels? Yeah, those are rebels. What is that gun on his back? Is that a new gun? Or is that like a really short S? Like, what is that? Oh, that's an M4 just with a 20 round mag. Okay. Oh, what? See, where? Where are you? Is he in the building here? And I just don't see him? Wait, one sec. Is that is that hostiles though? Oh. Okay. Understood. Understood now. And it's Mr. I only take headshots guy who uh, who sees me too. I don't know how I can get out of this. I'm just going to go around back. Wait, you know what? Does it show exactly where? No, I think I have to go kill those guys. I think I'm gonna have to go kill those guys in that building. I think that's probably the building that I need to clear. I like how there's rebels right outside though. These guys are hostile to the guys inside, so. That's funny that uh, these guys inside don't overhear any, wow. Don't overhear any conversation. And be like, hey, that sounds like a rebel outside. Oh, I thought that desk was floating, but it's not. It's correct. Look at the god rays. <laughs> they must have just got they must have just purchased a new shader over at Ubisoft. Like, hey, uh, did you guys see the new god rays? Oh yeah, they're great. Come on, come over here. Come on, come investigate. Come investigate. Look at your face. Are you interested? You want to come investigate what you just saw? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're coming in investigating. Mm -mm. That's exactly what I wanted. Walk through the sun ray. It's secretly it's secretly a claymore laser. They're like, where do you go? I don't know where he went. Ka -ka 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 -chow. And then you gotta go up and melee the, the, the heavy guy. <laughs> uh, special operations. <laughs> oh, apparently there's a fight outside. Let me just take some uh, Snapchats here from my friendos. Enemy down. Like I figured, the mayor here used to be Santa Blanca. He's collaborating with Los Estan Heroes. He's sending them workers, and in return, they don't blow his head off. I guess they decided Whoa. to change okay. the terms of their arrangement. All right. Um. No need to stress these people. Keep the so that guy. They're all praying at the edge of a cliff. You're. They're seriously on the edge of a cliff. You may want to back up a little bit. Okay. So do I have vehicle drop off? Bolivian minibus. Back it up, back it up. Why would I want a Bolivian minibus? Alright. Bolivian minibus it is. 
What is this magical beast? Oh, God. Oh. I guess we're going incognito, squad. We're going incognito. Buckle up, Buckle up buckaroos. I'm in. Let's roll. Now they'll never see us coming. They'll just be like, whoa, nice, nice car. And then not see the special operators inside. And that didn't happen, no. We're not totally messed up now. Oh, there's a Unidad car up ahead. That's scary. I'm gonna go up here. To this, uh, this little spot. This is a, this is a fast little minivan. Yeah, let's go clear this tower here. Before we do anything else. Yep, see? Okay, well, they didn't really see me. I don't think they did. Yeah, they didn't see me. Oh, gosh. Wait, maybe they did. <laughs> what? Where? 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 You saw me from over there? All right. All right. This game. I don't understand the stealth system. Oh. He had a sniper rifle with a laser on me all right it's time maybe this is a bad idea oh that's the that's the invincible guy he just took so many 762 rounds to the body but uh, he's headshot only I forgot about that we're really good about maintaining stealth in these places you know really good <laughs> Is that a grenade up here? Where's that grenade going? The grenade didn't even explode. It just went over our building. They're like, hey guys, toss the faulty grenades just to spook them. It'll be worth it, trust me. Ouch. I forgot that miniguns aren't even that great. Miniguns are not that great. Not that great compared to real life. Okay, there's another flying grenade too. Oh, I thought I would be able to hit his arm or something. Um, just trying to think of what I've got. What I can do here. I guess we just got to take out this guy, wherever he is. They've got, honestly, I think these guys have better and cooler looking uniforms than standard Unidad. I think these kind of scarier operators should have been Unidad in the original, like, game. Because Unidad, honestly, they're better armored, and that's all they are. Like, that's the that's the best way to describe Unidad officers and, and operators. Is that, unlike the cartel, they're just better armored. And they're, they're like, 20% like more difficult to kill, probably, by person. But if these guys were in the original game, then it would actually be a reason to to use tactics and skills rather than just doing it like for special challenges or something. So there should be like a difficulty where you can have all these special guys as the standard Unidad operators. Because these are pretty cool to fight against because it just, it just brings some diversity. That's why you don't see Halo. You, you don't only fight in Halo against grunts. You fight against elites, you fight against brutes, you fight against jackals and skirmishers. You know, Halo is a great game because you, you have to really counteract or, like, change uh, your tactics for every different type of enemy. That's why I feel like I have to do sometimes here. But that sh that I feel like that should have been, like, thought out for the main game, you know? Unidad should should be scary, and right now they are scary because they have invisible soldiers, or uh, sometimes they do. The the standard guys are pretty easy to kill, I'll be honest, but <laughs> they're the same as the as the rest of the guys. Even these guys up close are pretty easy to take out, but it just makes for a little bit more interesting gameplay, in my opinion. Just having a little bit more depth to the combat, even with some simple character changes I don't know where the fighting is to be honest oh
Man, the 50 round mags are great. Ah! Okay, I'm almost dead. We've just got to find intel on the operations, but we don't know exactly where the intel is. Do I have a grenade launcher? Let me check if I can unlock a grenade launcher, because I need something to take out vehicles. Okay, cool. So I can get a uh, grenade launcher. Oh, so that, that grip helps both... Oh, it helps with handling and accuracy. Huh. Okay. Well, yeah, we're going to take a grenade launcher. Gosh, I can't speak. Just so that we can... Uh, Shoot some bad guys a little bit more effectively. And tan cam always looks pretty good on guns. I think it's V. Yeah, it's V for the grenade launcher. Oh, the screen shake. The screen shake just murdered me. There we go. Yeah, the recoil is a little bit more difficult now. I'm noticing that. That that foregrip helped me out. Oh. Yeah, see that? Had to aim up towards his face. It's all these guys are the armored ones. Hopefully that grenade doesn't get me. I was lucky then. Let's move over to the left. Oh, that's a fence. Okay, where is... Where is this intel going to be? I really have no clue. Hopefully they don't shoot that heli in the progress of fighting us here. I felt like a lot of them were up here, but... Oh, gosh. But I don't know where... Uh... Ah! <laughs> I don't know where the where the intel will be. Let me check this building, because it's got a comm marker on it. No, because once I get close to it, I think, it, I think it'll mark it, right? It's gonna have to mark it somewhere. Maybe it was in the buildings that I was walking through and I just didn't see it. I don't know, let me check this garage. It shouldn't be in the garage. No, it shouldn't be there. I feel like it's gonna have to be in one of these main buildings here. Yeah, I probably passed it up over here. These look like more barrack type buildings or ad admin buildings. Yep, there you go. Okay. I got the shots we need. Who are got the guys? Snapchats we need. Local community leaders, mostly. All of them are either dead, missing, or in hiding. Okay. Well, my spaghetti sauce backpack and I are gonna go find them. We gotta get the helicopter that we had walked by earlier. Oh gosh, maybe we can just go spawn one. We'll probably just go in over here and spawn one. That'll be a mess, trying to get that one up in the air. Okay, cool. We lost the patrol. I didn't mean a drone. I always click that button. Oh, so we can't even, uh... We can't even deploy a helicopter on this DLC. We have to deploy bikes and stuff. That bike is invisible. Let's roll. Yeah, we'll just go ahead on bike then. Make our way there. It's so foggy. Like that's my main like is it is it a complaint? I'm not really sure, but it's just so oddly foggy. We should be able to find some intel on their deployments. Like, we and I don't know. We can figure out where the choke points are. It's just so foggy. And deep inside, I wonder, like, did the AIs get affected by the fog? Because I don't think they would. Whoa. So that is the, uh... There's a jammer soldier near me, then. That's scary, dude. Okay, I like this. I'm actually impressed. This is interesting. This makes it interesting. Cause then you're like, wait, which one is the jammer? I have to take out the jammer. So I'm basically just gonna have to go in blind. I think it would be cool if it took out your weapon ammo 
uh, counter as well. Whoa! What the heck? Alpacas just going crazy. Or what are those? Are those deer? Helicopter, get down. What the heck? <laughs> what is? What are those things? It's like they're seriously running faster than light. I think that guy might have just seen me. Oh yeah, he definitely just saw me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take him out with the pistol. He was probably curious because of all the, uh, oh shit. Because of these deer that are running through super fast over, I think they might have just spotted me. Oh yeah, they did, crap. Whoa, 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 alright, chill out. Alright, we need to move to hardcover. Are they? I hear a beat. Ah! Uh, that's a nade. That's a. Oh, that's a friendly. I'm hearing a beeping, like right there. I don't know what that is. Is that the jammer? I'm guessing that's the jammer. Oh, we're gonna need support. Do we have support for mortars? Hopefully it's in the right area, not on us. I think it's, uh, it's hitting on us. <laughs> Good job, Rebel Mortars. Good job. I tried to ask for assistance, but, uh... This is so weird. Oh! That was the jammer right there. I just killed the jammer guy. Man, my aim is terrible. Especially in third person games. It just it's just so different, so weird. This is a tough fight, I have to admit. Cause my 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 that's why, because my friendlies are way over there. Go. Move up. Move move to there. Shift position. Thanks for the help, guys. Thanks for the help. On a side note, that's a really pretty view with like the wet ground and stuff. That's pretty cool looking. Ah, every fight, man. Every fight's tough. And if we were playing on expert difficulty, we would have to have a squad with us because that'd just be so difficult. Whew. Alrighty, I think that's all. Um, I'm just gonna guess this building. Oh, that one's not enterable. This is a pretty detailed area. Look at all the junk. Get some ammo. Oh gosh, what's happening there? I'm just gonna hit it a second time. And hit that one. And hit that one again. Oh, I totally just not didn't miss that. So I can reload right here. Oh! <laughs> No, now we got another Unidad patrol on us. Okay, we're gonna have to just get this intel and get out of here. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is the Ghost Recon Wildlands Fallen Ghost DLC. Thought it was pretty interesting. I like the new enemies, definitely. Uh, as well as new missions are always pretty good, I think. I would like to see, though, if this game would go on a different map or something. Like, if even if it was a smaller map, like an island or something... I think that would be interesting to have it on a separate map because some of these areas that I have gone through, like I think the first objective, you know, was a base that I've already attacked before. So I knew the basic layout layout of it. Um, this area behind me, though, that we just attacked, I didn't actually remember that at all. But, uh, yeah, so that was a Fallen Ghost DLC. It's actually got, I think, positive reviews on Steam right now compared to the Narco Road one, which was, like, totally negative. Uh, that's why I didn't play that one for you guys. But, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Yeah.